What's up you fucking troglodytes, it's XTR here to bring you another video. A lot of you had questions about controlling your recoil and spray pattern, and I'm going to not only teach you how to do so, but I'm going to set up some exercises that you can do daily or every once in a while to actually practice your spray. So not only am I going to teach you how to control your spray pattern, but I'm going to give you some exercises that you can use to make yourself an epic spraying god. Oh fuck, I just dropped my phone. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Okay, I'm back. I just went and got my dominoes from the door. I'm not going to eat my dominoes because I'd rather stay here and create this epic video for you guys so you can learn how to play better in Valorant. What you have to learn and what you need to understand, there is a random factor to your spray. So, if I go up and I spray, the first 15 bullets are always going to be in a predetermined path. The first 15 are always going to be predetermined. They're going to go up to the left and then a little bit to the right. But that doesn't mean that the rest of the bullets are going to be predetermined in a spray pattern because Valorant is ass. And they decided that adding RNG to their spray patterns was the best route. Don't ask me why because I have absolutely no fucking idea why they thought that this would be the rest route of action and the best course to take with their spray patterns in this game. So, before you start dealing with the... Uh, the second half of the magazine you need to learn how to control the first half of the magazine because that is where you're going to get most of your kills at the first half of the magazine so it's going to pull up and then to the left and literally all you are doing is you are inverting the spray with your mouse you are just doing the complete opposite of where your bullets are going so if i am going up you are pulling down and you are not pulling down super hard you are gripping your mouse ever so slightly you are basically scolding it and you are telling it that it is not a good mouse but you are not hurting it okay you are just doing it ever so slightly just so it knows that you are the dominant character in the relationship so when the spray goes up you pull down the spray goes up you pull down now for the next it's going to go to the left a little bit so you're going to pull down into the right so it's going to go up pulling down and to the right just like that extremely simple for these first couple bullets of the magazine now uh with the rest of the spray it is going to get randomized after about the first 15 to 20 bullets it will become random and the thing with this randomization is you can actually predict where your bullets are going based on the sway of your weapon barrel if your barrel sways to the left you are going to pull right because if your barrel is swaying to the left in this game which it will after the first 15 or 20 bullets it's going to sway left or right depending on how the game fucking feels at the moment uh you are going to just negate that by pulling the opposite direction so look at my barrel in this example it is pulling left and right and that is where my bullets are going my bullets are following the barrel like they're on a leash so all you are doing is inverting it completely when it goes down you go down when it goes left you go right when it goes right you go left simple as that you are going to start off these are the drills that you are going to need to actually practice your spray pattern this will teach you how to learn the spray pattern and it will teach you how to actually get good at controlling your recoil and this is extremely important and i shouldn't even have to explain why it's important you should understand that it is very important that your spray is going where you want it to go so you can direct a high volume of fire at the people that are trying to take your life and your things. So to practice this, you are going to go to this target first and foremost. This is how you should start and warm up every time you are going to practice your recoil. You should start on this target. You should put it to about 10 meters back and you should turn off infinite ammo and go through one full magazine and try and correct yourself. All you're doing is spraying and trying to keep it in the center circle, trying to keep the uh, the grouping of your bullets in a pretty condensed area. It's going to take some time, but you will start getting the feel for it, and it's going to start feeling pretty natural to you. So do that for a couple minutes, I'd say three or four minutes. It's actually pretty fun just spraying on something and seeing where your bullets are going in my opinion uh, i'm entertained by the littlest things so that's probably the reason for the next routine all you are doing is you are setting up the bots and however you want to set them up it doesn't really matter but you are going to get about 200 kills just practicing your first zone of this spray uh you can turn infinite ammo for on for this because all you're doing is just practicing these first couple shots because these are the shots that you should be killing people with in games Make sure their armor is on. 
so you're not just killing them after like one bullet. You don't have to strafe, I just strafe a lot when I do my aiming because it kind of gives me something else to do other than just shoot shit. Now the next one is going to be uh, adjusting your spray after you have already sprayed. Uh, this isn't spray transferring, there is a separate exercise that you should do for this, but right now you're going to start your spray and you're going to transfer over to the opponent. I'd say get about 50 kills doing this. And next up, you should do spray transferring. You are going to direct your bullets in one direction. Then you're going to tell them, Psych, I'm actually going the other way and I'm going to kill your friend as well. So, you start with one and you move on to the other. That's all you're doing. And I would change up the locations that you were doing it from. Try going to different areas of the, uh, of the range. So you're not just shooting like this super close to each other, you know, you're not just shooting it like this and just killing the two closest to each other. Try and move around, try and adjust and pull your spray down to actually hit people that are in completely different areas. Alright, next up is going to be... Shocker. It's going to be full magazine spraying. So you're going to turn your infinite ammo off. Unfortunately, you are not going to have the luxury of having infinite ammo in this exercise. You're going to start with one magazine and you are going to see how many of these extremely dangerous bots. I just got tabbed out. You are going to see how many of the I just got tabbed out again. You are going to see how many of these extremely dangerous bots you can kill in one magazine from your Vandal or Phantom. And this is going to help you familiarize yourself with just the spray in general. And not only that, but it's going to help you familiarize yourself with actually transferring your spray over and adjusting on the fly. Next one you have is long range spraying, where you're basically just bursting the target or spraying downwards from a very long range. This one's gonna be much harder at first, but once you get it down, it should become pretty fucking easy. Now doing these daily will have benefits, uh, like I said in the last video, try and avoid burning yourself out. If you're already doing an aim routine, uh, try and cut down on one or the other. So you're not just doing like three hours of this shit a day. Um, if you're doing 30 minutes of aim practicing and maybe 15 minutes of spraying a day, that would be solid. I would recommend not to do more spraying than aim training practice because uh, aim training is a little bit more important than learning to control the spray because the spray is a lot easier to learn than learning how to have good aim and reflexes. So maybe uh, a good principle would to be start off with more spray. So 30 minutes of spraying and 15 minutes of aim training in a day if you are really trying to go for it. And then once you get more comfortable with your spray, just kind of shift down the time over time. So you're just, all you're doing is keeping yourself familiar with it. So that's about it. It's, I only gave like two or three exercises. Uh, they're pretty simple exercises and they should help you pretty drastically with your spray control uh, over time. So please let me know how your progress is going with your aim and your spray control. I love to hear because I am curious to see how this is working for everyone else. These are just things that I used to do for myself to improve my own aim and spray control. So I'd like to see how it's working for everyone else. That is really interesting to me. And uh, if you have any video suggestions or comments, please leave them in the description below. I recently just hit 200 subscribers, which I'm actually very excited about. Uh, I didn't expect to get more than like 30, honestly, in the first week of starting this channel. And we're already at 200, so I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have an outstanding day. If you don't subscribe, like I said in my last video, this still stands. I will overfeed my cat for a full month. Goodbye.
pulling down ever so slightly, like you are gripping your mouse, telling it it's been a bad little boy. 